What's up, guys? Welcome to To Aru Podcast number 24. How are we all doing this? We're going to discuss GT9. Oh, it's good. it's good to hear you're doing well. Yeah. And we are, we are joined, of course, by Malcolm and one and only Offness. Bye. <laughs> Sound like you're in pain there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I'm, not, I'm just trying to say hi. Hey. I'm not forcing you to be on here. <laughs> no, this is one where I had to be on. We need to talk about Mr. Uh, CRC today. Do we eat a potato Very chip? important. I mean, agree. And eat it? Okay. <laughs> I just started to crunch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so... September's gonna be a very busy month for Index and Railgun fans. As not only do we have GT9 coming, we also have NT1 in English for the first time. Yes, New Testament is finally getting an English translation. Can you actually believe it? I certainly can't. It's insane. No, it's actually, oh. wow, mind-blowing. And that's not all. We are also getting, I think, is it Item Manga Volume 1? Because I think that's when the Dengeki magazine does it, or is that? Yeah, it's yeah, already, it was a manga. It's already out. Um, the yeah. translation should be out. Oh wait, later. it's actually yeah, out yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I just thought I just heard the other uh, announcement for it. I didn't know it was actually out already. Yeah, first chapter oh, nice. published. Yeah. Yeah, because we've already had uh, chapter one that's come out, but I don't think it's been translated yet. I'm not sure it's how it's going on that end. Be out later today or early tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Cool, cool. Yeah. You yeah. seem very up to date of it. Flipping heck. Yeah. I've yeah, dude. Yo, just he'll let me know when it's out so I can read it. And I want to see the pictures <laughs> and everything. Oh. So, we are going to discuss our predictions for Genesis Testament Volume 9. Once our music goes. That sounds good. Right. And you should be able to hear that as well, but not the people in Discord chat I'm speaking to. Everyone else listening will be able to hear it. Right, cool. So, Malcolm, would you like to read out the long synopsis for the volume? But this is chat GPT, right? So it's not going to be completely Yeah, yeah. Accurate. So, yeah, I had chat GPT-4 translate this because I'm paying $20 a month and I'm going to get my money out of it <laughs> by making it do index stuff for me. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. All right. So, yes, this is the updated summary that came out just a few days ago, right? Uh, the challenge that Kamijo and the others face is the resurrection of the Rosencroys. Striding arrogantly and trampling through Academy City, be it a devil, a transcendent being, a psychic, or a magician, all are surpassed by CRC, Christian Rosencroix. The silver-haired young man, possessing a terrifying power, instantly kills Alice and arrogantly strolls through Academy City, trampling all over the people. Ahead of his calamity-like advance lies Anna Springle, sleeping in the frog-faced doctor's hospital with the goal of annihilating her. Kamijo cannot abandon the girl, who was once his enemy, absolutely not. In the face of this desperate situation, Kamijo stands in front of CRC. The question is, are there friends who will respond to his cry? And that's it. Ooh. Friends, Dude, the power say, of friendship. Like, Power for our hearts together create awesome power yeah they're just gonna uh, cast the fairy what's it called the fairy shield or something you you use in fairy tale haven't you often <laughs> um yeah it's called a um, fairy sphere fairy, fairy, fairy sphere yes yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what for a second yeah, sphere fairy sphere yeah that's what that's what's gonna happen they're just gonna cast the, the fairy sphere and, and defeat you see in one hit. Easy. Yep. <laughs> oh, what could be, what could be. But jokes aside, we got that 
crazy synopsis. I mean, we already knew sort of what was going to happen by the end of the GTA in terms of how CRC or Rosenchad conducts himself. He's pretty adamant on his hatred for humans and <laughs> pretty unrelentless uh, rampage that he's going to go on. I mean, we all pretty much assumed that that would happen. So this pretty much confirms that and we also get the cover which absolutely blew my mind like i'm, I'm curious how did, how did you guys react to the cover when you when you first saw it uh, i was like man this cover's sort of mid oh shut up you liar <laughs> no dude no it looks fire bro it is i think it's hype dude i think it's so hype hey. I, I just well, there's fire in the background I just thought it was funny to see Aleister Crowley doing Toma's saving oath in his pose. Yeah, okay, that's true. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But no, I think it was pretty hype. <clears throat> also, we find this is the very first picture of actually like seeing CRC though, right? Yeah. 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 I think the design is really cool. Although, Aeon, do you have something to say about his uh facial features by any chance? <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> I mean, he's got a tan on. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The reason why I mention it is because <laughs> somehow by mentioning CRC's tan or darker skin, this devolved into a debate between the three of us about if Aradia started off with having a tan and then gradually became or suddenly became pale. Uh, GT7 onwards and then Malkin was like <laughs> hell no she never had a tan she was always pale from the start and yeah it was pretty hilarious because I don't know like if you if you look right I don't want to reignite the flames uh, of the argument uh, but <laughs> if you look fine, at the colored illustrations whatever no, no, no. Like if you if you look at if you look at her debut image, like the cool one in GT five, where you can see part of her body, and then like the full body in in GT six, then she's got a tan. But I understand that parts of her body are a bit brighter because the lighting. Yeah, and then part, part of her leg as well in the panel opposite. <laughs> but then Malcolm was like, Ah, well, you see, I've got a checkmate here because in the black and white illustration where she's completely naked, because that exists. <laughs> uh, she she's not calling in dark at all, like, unlike Neptis or whatever who have darker skin. But hey, I, I think it might be the full moon magic. Maybe the full moon, you know, absence of the sun makes her fully pale. Moonlight. Right, it's like a werewolf, but you know, like a werewolf. Oh, that's funny. <sighs> yeah, that's a discussion for another time, though. Even though she definitely well, is tan. Well, what do you guys think? Do you do you guys think Aradia started off as tan or not? Because, I mean, <laughs> wait, what, what are people saying in the chat? <laughs> naked Aeon, you better be... <laughs> what? I didn't even say naked me. <laughs> I said naked Aradia. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Show me dirty. Did I say that shit? I don't know. Guess you're gonna I didn't say that, did I? I think I remember you saying that. Uh, possibly. You might have to. I did not. What? <laughs> said, I... What? I was talking about Aradia, not me. Why, why, would, why are people assuming it's me? Do people. Because uh, no, we're not going to go there. Naked Aradia cosplay at 100. <laughs> no! No! Aradia cosplay? No! no That's not what I meant. Bro. That's not. Oh, God. I'm going to sneeze in a second. I don't know why. Because. <laughs> panicking. Yeah. Oh, why is the music stopped? Uh, uh, literally. No, it's this. It's never happening. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, maybe one day. Throw enough money in anything. Why? Why people so desperate to see me cosplay waifus, especially naked waifus? It's it funny. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What? Wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> because it's funny. Same thing at the same yeah, time. we said the same thing. Because it's funny. 
Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So two. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say great minds, but two. <sighs> two equal minds. minds. We'll, we'll we'll keep it neutral. Yeah. Thinking alike. Synchronized. <clears throat> but I don't know. I I I wouldn't find it funny. You're not supposed to find it funny. Of course you would. Yeah. yeah, you're the one cosplaying. <laughs> right, okay, fair. But but if people if people want to laugh at my expense, like or my detriment, or my misfortune, if you wanna have a Toma analogy to oh, my cool. existence, then <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned for my Comic-Con vlog, because, well, it's not going to be a typical Comic-Con vlog of typical YouTuber going around, Oh my god, is it so cool? Thor's in cosplays? No, 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 no. We we are making it interesting. I, I, shall I, shall I uh, tease what it's going to be about? Yeah, because I'm cosplay? curious. Yeah, who's, who are you cosplaying as? Okay, okay. No, I around. didn't cosplay yeah. as anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I won't. Listen, I wasn't going to go up to the con as Misaka or anything like that. Unless okay. someone paid me a large sum of money, I might consider it. Sure, how much? Really? You pay me to go to as a con as Misaka? Yeah, I mean, you got to wear like a super, super short skirt, and then you got to wear, you know, like, you know, all. Should I, no, I don't have it. Should I start a Kickstarter for this or something? Like, <laughs> <laughs> go fund me, bro. If my Patreon gets so many followers, <laughs> I will go to a convention dressed as Misaka. If I oh, hit yeah, $10,000 you... a month, naked or <laughs> That's what it'll Jesus. No, no. I'll get arrested, mate, if I did that. <laughs> it'll be funny. Think of the content. As you say, it's a prank. Right, right, right. right. Like, yeah. I... That's how it works. Yeah, I, I actually forgot in that instance where like you can actually add like the Patreon milestones, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but honestly, do I really want to embarrass myself? Or yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. We're content. gonna know about it eventually, so you might as well do it yeah. now. Content. Then you put in the title Misaka Mikoto at convention, and then it's a picture <laughs> of like you looking kawaii. Oh my okay. god. Just... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how much my pride and shame is worth. Like, what? Well, how do you? How the fuck do I price that? You're British. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, like three grand or something. Because I, I don't want to say hundreds because that's like not worth it. What three do you guys grand, say? I expect you to do every video dressed as Makoto from now on. <laughs> Because, like, otherwise, I'm not going to do it for 100 quid. Like, put that. Sorry, I don't know what 100 quid is in the America. We don't have the quid currency well, over here. Well, the exchange yeah. rate has been absolutely shafted, so it's about the same same amount now. Uh, wow. Even even though we get paid way less over here. Well, at least we have free <laughs> health care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, pros and cons of every place. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, true. But yeah, I I'm not doing that for like 300 quid. Hell no. That's going to be like way more. Especially if it's like a, a multiple day event. It's not just like one day. Anyway. <laughs> GT9. <laughs> uh, oh, so yeah. TRC is doing an interesting pose. I mean... I, I do like his design. We, we, we were talking about that, weren't we? Although I'm not, I'm not a huge yeah. fan of his beard. It looks looks like a really thin wizard beard. I don't know. Look, just, this has no it volume. Like it's like a little, like, like that old Chinese wise man beard you would find. Oh, yeah, in yeah, true, true. Well, I, I'd say like his design. He looks pretty raw. He looks pretty cool. Kind of crazy. I, I like it. But he's doing like a similar. Pose to Fiamma of the right in terms of how he is drawn, I guess, in cover. Just generic bad well, guy pose 12. Yeah, but like, <laughs> is it really generic bad guy like, pose 12? Yeah, no, you could probably argue. Yeah, it is. But like, 
he's just he's the, his style is so simplistic but good like i don't know how to describe hmm. it i also told yeah, him feel- earlier that uh his teeth they're really kind of sharp it might just be me yeah his teeth look was, really sharp i was thinking so, that like, too he has like dog know. teeth yeah so like maybe he, like, like maybe he vampire? was like, higher is he the vampire <laughs> is he Megami, the friend that's gonna show up and save the day oh hell no Kimigami's but... gonna solo Rosenkreuz? Bro. But no, he's got really cool style. I like his drip or cloak. What is that? A red, like. I don't yeah. Know what it is. Yeah, a they fit him with a red cloak. Because that's how it was written in the, yeah, the epilogue. Because he was naked. Because everyone in Index <laughs> is naked. But damn, it's about time we got some man service in Index for a change. So uh, a bit of gender equality <laughs> yeah, there. I hope they draw him in a speedo. Oh, oh sh- shame we didn't get the shame we didn't get the man service uh, illustration though of, of the RC butt naked. Yeah. <laughs> Outside that egg <laughs> test tube baby thing that he was birthed out of. Oh god. Well, I, I, I'm really happy Alistair was on the cover as well. Like, oh, it just looks so good. Everyone looks cool. Like, it, it feels really unique, even though we have had covers in the past with three characters on. I don't know, just the poses and the flames in the background. Yeah, it just makes me really Toma excited. Looking pretty fire. Yeah, dude, look at Toma. Yeah. I like Toma's drip. Yeah, uh, some, people were com- <laughs> yeah some people were complaining about it. Uh Saying that they like his earlier GT drip, but I, I like that. I think that's cool. I like the red scarf. Yeah. yeah, the red scarf is nice. I like that. People really like the homeless core, Toma. Homeless core. I mean, he literally did get his New Testament hoodie from like a fucking garbage pile or whatever, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so literally, he cannot afford his own clothes. He just scavenges. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's true that. In index, if you look at the designs for the most part, I mean, there's some characters that have more complicated designs, but overall, most of the cast and index have really simplistic designs in terms of what they wear. I think it's, I think it's quite clever. I think so. I feel like Magic Sight has some pretty intricate designs. Generally. Well, I mean, if you look, yeah, well, if you look at I mean, like, yeah, look at Othinus. <laughs> hey, come on, like what? Oh, uh, so. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. 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 So well, different. No, if, you, if you, okay. Okay. Uh, let Let me respond. If If you look at the nuns, for example, just like black habit, and then there's like light de- uh yeah differences in terms of how their habit is. Uh, all right. Counter argument. Yeah. Index. Yeah, but and then also like sometimes they get the really weird habits like uh during the ice boats arc. They were wearing those weird, like, feathery ones. And then we have the uh, Russian habits, okay. the red ones that get pretty intricate, especially for uh, what's her face? Um, Vasilisa. The, 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 the one that uh, Gabriel took the form of. Uh, Sasha. Sasha. Or Misha. Yeah, Misha, yeah. Yeah, I would say. The background nuns have pretty basic habits, but like the important nuns tend to get pretty uh, intricate. Okay, okay, but yeah, I, th- I think probably the magic side does have more. I don't know complex costumes and that. Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because if you look at Laura Stewart or Alistair's current drip, it's like yeah, that, that looks very basic, but it looks it stands out still. It's cool, not too overly complicated. And if you look at CRC, he's just got, you know, red robe and big Rosicrucian badge in the middle of his chest. Where that came from, I don't know, because he just got he just got handed a red robe and maybe the, the Bridge Builders Cabal had a Rosicrucian el- emblem to go with it. I don't know, maybe. Is that his chest <laughs> you can see underneath the emblem now that I'm looking? Yeah. Oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, give me so. Parts yeah, I think, yeah, that is his chest. His chest. Yeah. So he may just be wearing a cloak. So maybe we will get some man service. Oh. 
You know, uh, hell yeah. There was some. Uh, I was gonna say, Aeon, if you don't mind, I was gonna ask both of you, um, uh, the uh, the epilogue, or not the epilogue, the um, the the, the, uh, the description. What what Malcolm, the one you read, the thing you read. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like, what do you both of you think about that? Um. About, yeah. I guess if we're gonna break it down, the first thing worth really noting, um, is be it devil a transcendent being a psychic or a magician all are surpassed by crc um so i mean it basically confirms be it a devil being you know karan's on right would be yeah. hypothetically who that's referring to the transcendent beings the mag or the transcendence and arguably the true magic gods um psychics aspers and magicians just duh um yeah it, it's basically setting him up as like oh yeah this is the most powerful character we've seen so far period y'all think that'll be the case uh difficult to say because we know how powerful the true magic gods were especially when there were crazy statements about them being able to destroy the physical world instantly that foot well maybe crc is repressing his power so that doesn't happen but i don't know it's too early to say well we'll have to wait and see but it's the case with a lot of strong characters that are being introduced in gt or late nt where we've gotten statements that they're so powerful at their peak and yet we'd never get to see it but at the same time it's difficult because when you have their peak being equivalent to destroying universes or multiverses it's kind of hard to show that without blowing higher universe up right no uh, and i i agree with, sorry go ahead no go ahead oh, no 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 go ahead go ahead i was just going to continue on to the next portion of oh, the... i was going to say i i agree with you guys especially with you aeon if crc really is the most powerful being now or will be the most powerful being based off the other uh, description we got I don't see how he could be the, the true magic guys. I mean, like, with what you said, destroying the universe, multiverse, by stepping foot in it. Unless there's, like, some alternate realm that, you know, he takes us to or something like that. Or something beyond the hidden phase, maybe, if that's even a thing. Uh, you know, unless there's something, like, on that type of caliber, then, like, I don't think he's stronger than the true magic guys. Sad to say. Personally, I wish he was. Hopefully, I'm still hoping, but... I don't think I don't think he's gonna be. If I'm being completely honest with with both of you, right? Where's uh Othinus at? Where was she at at the end of GT? A G T A. Uh, Toma. Was she? With yeah, Toma? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She was Toma, wasn't she? I. Was she? I I like swear I can't. Oh, even or was she? No, or was she with uh? Or did she no, get behind? No, because I think that they might have split up because the only people in the tank was uh, Aradia, Anna, Anna and uh, Toma, right? I don't yeah, think Otsinus was there. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. He got left behind when he ran off with Anna. Yeah. They've probably okay. been next then. Yeah, probably if, been next, yeah. If we're going to find out if he's stronger than the magic gods, it would probably come from Othinus' mouth. Like, she would probably be the one to confirm or deny that. Like, um, and you would, I don't know, like, you you would think that, like, Othinus would, like, know of CRC, right? Because there ain't no way this man just popping out of nowhere, one-shotting Alice and saying, well, and, get, and then, and then Kamachi giving a description saying, like, he is, like, on par with the true magic gods or even more stronger with them. Like, you, yeah. like, you would have heard something, right? But. Maybe, uh, but. I don't know. You know. That's just me, though. It could just be the case of it didn't need to be told so kamachi just didn't do it or something same reason like why didn't the transcendent show up to stop fiyama wait wait hold on a second Othinus mentioned crc and nt12 really i do not remember that i have to go back and look at that yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think i'm a, i will i don't know if i remember it but i remember seeing the <laughs> people post about it or maybe yeah looking at the greatest resource on on the internet to our wiki 
<laughs> <to Right>. our... <laughs> about about our like, first like, instance like... of Rosenkreutz. But hey, I I actually predicted Rosenkreutz would return. If you if you go back and watch my early GT videos, I predicted it, but I didn't know it would happen. Uh, like now or whatever. Dude, that's but, yeah, really cool. I know I gotta check the wiki. <laughs> to yeah, see if somebody exactly. like. <laughs> Ninja yeah, I, when was I think there's like an even earlier reference to Christian Rosenkreutz and X. That's really wiki, cool. I, I love how they do that. Yeah, like how the Golden Dawn referenced in OT1. Yeah, mm. a whole bunch of stuff was referenced in uh, what was it, OT10? I th mm, the Ursula Aquinas rescue arc or whatever, whenever they mention. A bunch of Alistair's family stuff. Um, let's see, I don't think. Oh it's yeah, Kamiji. Oh sorry, wait, it was a Kamijo frown. It? Yeah, Kamijo frown because he had no idea how major a name Rosen dash whatever was. Doesn't that mean Stern Germain is ridiculously famous, ridiculously powerful, and the protagonist of some ridiculous mythology? Oh, they did. Oh, wait, Rosen so Cruz related to Saint wait, Germain. Rosen Cruz? Yeah, Ro yeah. Rosen okay. Cruz and Mathers. Mm. Interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, I think uh, Wiki also say there's a reference to Rosen Kreutz in NT2, well in between the lines. Why well, haven't looked? At interesting well i'm just gonna say once again that's really cool i love how they name dropped him like novel i love when they do that it's kind of like you know if it was like you know gear five luffy you know how he came out of nowhere when they mentioned one thing about you know joy boy in skype arc 900 900 episodes ago like yeah. you know what i mean thank god it wasn't like that because far was actually you know peak just say uh, sorry, sorry continue continue on continue sorry man go on <laughs> No worries. Yeah, it's like Anna Sprengel being referenced in um, OT22, which Index 3 did not decide to include. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that good? Text no name three. drop for Anna Sprengel. Well, at least we got off of this name drop, but it didn't do that. Uh, oh. The uh, adaption of the first arc didn't mention the Magic God like concept either. Yes, so. which is so dumb because that's the whole reason why Index's memories have to be wiped because they're scared about becoming a magic god. And yet they don't even talk about magic gods in the first arc in the anime. Yeah, though to be fair, they made that well before magic gods were really even like a thing. Or like part of the narrative at that point, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still important, Index I mean... One. In I mean, OT, we didn't. Being written at the time. Yeah. We didn't know the full grasp of what a magic god could do at that point. We only knew, oh, if, if Index understands or has access freely to all the books in her head, he can become a god. Basically, well, it, it adds some mystery to it. So, but yeah, we we, we can understand it's dangerous <laughs> just from that yeah. alone. Well, on the bright side, if they had translated it, we'd probably be calling them demon gods right now. <laughs> oh, you, you, you went there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see if that is... I, I think it will be... Well, it's been corrected in OT, right? So it's going to be corrected. In Was it corrected in OT? I don't... Did they correct it in the, the omnibus? Uh, I mean, in, in the later... Uh, like, okay, yeah, yeah, in, like, 22 or whatever. I mean, uh, or, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Two, that's what I mean, yeah. I think they corrected it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, we will see what nt one's going to be like in English. I I'm curious to... Well, I, I actually look forward to re rereading it, because I haven't actually read... Well, uh, read in NT again since I first read it. Yeah. Oh. All right. Other predictions. 
So, with how it ended, oh, you, did you want to say something? Uh, I was just gonna say, uh, I think Toma and Alistair are gonna get like some major power ups. That's that's all I'm saying. And, like, if I this dude's really, okay. no, I think a radius is just gonna be like kind of you know fodder and just say, get one tap. Just yeah, yeah, just, just get one tap like Alice. You know, just just get one, just just get one tapped. <laughs> you know, you know how it is. Oh, also. I think Alice will return somehow. Somehow in the next one. Yeah, I think Aradia's going to die, and that's how she's going to come back. Aradia's going to give her life. Yeah, you know, the tan on Aradia is going to die and come back. Yeah, they're getting rid of the tan one to make her white. God damn it. I mean, we have good old Mary to revive then. I think that will still work. But am I not? Uh, said something about her in the last volume, didn't they? Like, but that was with Toma, though. I think, though, right? Was it? Or am I, or am I forgetting? It's been a while since I read GTA, but like, right, right, yeah. right. I, I think, I think because okay, so the difference is with Anna Sprengel. Like, we, we, I, I'm assuming Good Old Mary will be able to bring back Alice. I, I'm, I'm assuming it because we know what Kamachi's like. Okay, <laughs> even though Alice is more powerful than Good Old Mary. Maybe it could still work. I, I, I don't know. But with Anna Sprengel, it's a different case because she, uh, Anna Sprengel's been hit by the shrink drink. And they specifically need Alice's power to get rid of that because Alice shrink drink. Isn't it? And from the uh, prologue, not prologue, sorry, the synopsis, we have learned that Homer has effectively taken... Alice to the hospital. So uh, we must assume that Terma has found out what's happened to Alice. And therefore he's gone with his next point of call, the old reliable Heaven Cancellor in District 7 Hospital. So whether Heaven Cancellor will be able to do anything about that. I I, I know he's Heaven Cancellor, but do you guys think he'll be able to remove the sh like the shrink drinks effect before she dies? Uh I feel like Alistair may come into play for that. Yeah, I'm with Malcolm like on that he, one. Yeah, he seems like he'd be the only one who could, like, reasonably know how to counter it without it feeling like a forced plot point out of nowhere. Like, oh, random magician just that they just meet in this book knows how to cancel it or whatever. It would make sense for Alistair to do it. Yeah, and I suppose on that point, it's been foreshadowed that Alistair has realized his own links to Alice's magic and origin. He understands that uh, technique very similar to the ones that he uses. So I, I, I can see that. But speaking of Alistair, wow, Alistair looks so clean on the, on the volume cover. And I was quite surprised to, to see him him there like obviously I'm, I'm overjoyed but I, I, there were people saying that oh because uh, Anna Kingsford and Alice Alistair are fighting CRC and then it, then it ends on the, the cliffhanger in, in GT8 that Kingsford and Alistair are just going to get one shotted and then CRC is just going to be chasing Terma for the rest of the volume but from this cover that suggests the opposite so I think Alistair might end up ditching Kingsford or like running away while Kingsford occupy like preoccupies CRC so that Alistair can then escape, regroup with Toma, and then draft a plan to defeat Rose and Chad. I mean, that's what I thought even before the cover came out. Well, that's what I hope would happen. And I think this pretty much confirms it, hopefully. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you saying that you think CRC and Anna Kingsford are going to fight and Kingsford is going to lose that fight? Is that what we're getting at? Well, uh, well Toma? I mean, from the narration or the lines in, in the epilogue, it pretty much suggested very heavily that TRC was stronger than both Alistair and um, Kingsford. But then uh, again, uh, but then again, I mean, Kingsford. He somehow stalemated Iwas. I, I know Iwas is not the type to take 
fight seriously, but I don't know. I, I was being a secret chief should be stronger than a human. I, I would yeah. think, but then we have CRC who's like human, but he's stronger than everyone apparently. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll see. Rolling back a bit to uh, good old Mary. Um, I yeah, checked yeah. GT8 and there's a part that says the shrink drink borrows a portion of Alice's power, so not even good old Mary's resurrection can heal Anna Springle. It would yeah. violate the Cabal's order. If it uses Alice's power, do you think that means that good old Mary would be incapable? Like, good old Mary can't stop it because it uses Alice's power. So do you think she would be able to revive Alice then? Uh, I mean, just... <laughs> That's a hard one. It's, it's difficult yeah difficult to say because yeah if she can't reverse that then how can she reverse the alice thing but i don't know considering because it's kamachi and we know kamachi doesn't like to kill off characters that have appeared in consecutive volumes then i don't know because we need to see the jabberwocky <laughs> there's no I mean, way it, I mean, alice I is just dead for good alice not coming back because yeah. her story arc isn't finished like yeah revolving around her and toma um it's so like she has to come back but i'm curious as to what the cost will be because it doesn't seem like good old mary there's a good chance at least good old mary won't be able to revive her so i'm wondering if yeah i just hope it's not an ass pull a life for a life a radio will leave us so alice could come back <laughs> Because we have two Aradias now. <laughs> She's and replaceable. and uh, another thing that um, I was going to ask both of you, I think you made a video about this or something about it. Aeon. I might be wrong, but uh, do you think that CRC actually knows about Imagine Breaker? I'm talking like like more of the origin behind it, more of the hidden powers behind it, you know, stuff like that. Well, I'm planning to make a video <laughs> there it this. is there uh, it is if i it's like, is it well, actually or... i have a video coming for this oh, well never mind well then. it's it's <laughs> no no it's, it's gonna be uh well i, I hope i get around to it soon but i'm just fucking busy so but i, I feel that yeah I, I'll, I'll talk a bit about it because not everyone who i mean there's only like 40 people roughly watching this podcast so not everyone gonna know about this <laughs> it's not like they're gonna watch this video and like oh i'm not gonna watch the the long form video of it at least i hope not so yeah i mean if if we look at where the golden dawn were based in blythe road and we look at the uh, real golden dawn and the real battle by blythe road they had the vault and if you remember the vault in, in Tuaru or Index or NT18, the vault had the the secret treasure. What was the secret treasure? It was Margin Breaker. It was right arm or ha hand arm, I don't know, of a saint. But it's not a typical saint in Tuaru terms. It's I think it's in the Japanese, it's like a different kanji or something it's not no it's not the same like saints as kanzaki or aqua it was crc yes yes i'm getting to that <laughs> uh, yeah and if you look at the real history of blive road what was in the vault in the in the real blive road allegedly any guesses uh um, apparently, uh, this is this is apparently. I'm not, not okay. DRC is meant to be a mythical legendary figure, so the, like right, um, like Anna Sprengel. So it's, there's n <laughs> there's not uh, any affirmative evidence whether he did actually exist. But this is the Golden Dawn we're talking about. <laughs> I mean, uh, founded by Anna Sprengel in a letter that then she didn't exist. So whatever. Apparently. In the Vault of the Golden Dawn, they had the crypt or, yeah, coffin of Christian Rosenkreutz. Therefore, I think Christian Rosenkreutz was the 
estate who owned Imagine Breaker before Golden Dawn. I like that. I said that. it's a joke, but yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> I said that as a joke, but I mean, like, if the evidence is there, I mean, no, but it actually makes a lot of sense, though, when you, like, think about it now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it could be a coincidence, but considering the Golden Dawn's ties to Rosenkreutz, I think there's a decent chance of the theory coming, coming true. But we'll have to wait and see, of course. I think we will get confirmed or deconfirmed. Uh in GT9, so we won't have to wait too long. Christian Rosenkreutz will definitely make a comment about Imagine Breaker. Either way, even if he didn't own it, I can see him clearly knowing about it. Oh, definitely. 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 I mean, this guy probably knows everything at this point. <laughs> I mean, he taught like Kingsford and Pringle. Well, damn, maybe, you know, he could help get Othinus' magic back then. Oh, That's I all he's wish. wanting. Right or, or, or maybe he can tell us where Fiamma is. I would love to know where Fiamma is. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll talk about Fiamma. But speaking of uh, Offness being full height or back to her powers, you know, like the Izakai story that Gamachi wrote recently? Yeah. yeah well, he, he gave uh, Offness her full body back in, in a little two page side story. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> I want to say yeah, 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 yeah. And, and guess what, Optimus? <laughs> guess what? How how uh, tall do you think Optimus is? Like five one, five four, uh, five two. Not very well, tall. They described her as looking like a fourteen or thirteen year old girl. I yeah, think, originally. Four, so yeah, fourteen year old body. Yeah, yeah. So but, like, you but, know, uh, however tall one of those are. Well, I mean, now well, apparently like twenty three. <laughs> Apparently, Offness is the same height as Index. So, yeah, what? like a 13, 14 year old. <laughs> index is a midget, though. That's like a. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. But they're well, like the 148 same. 148 centimeters. Like the same age, then. 148 centimeters, I think. So she's like 4 foot 11. But it doesn't. I don't know. It, that, that's how it was said in, in, the, in the side story, but. When you look at her compared to Toma, Toma's height in uh, like the art, it doesn't look that small. Uh, at least that's what I someone know, said on. Uh, like when I remember Index standing next to Makoto, their heights weren't that different. Yeah, I guess so. Well. Okay. Hello. Okay, she's she was 150 centimeters tall, so she's two two centimeters taller than Index. <laughs> wow, what's a centimeter? Yep. Four four foot nine? Not even five foot? No. Wait, what? Wait, what? Four, <laughs> four foot nine? What? Are you kidding me? Wait, wait. hold on. Four. Wait, 150 centimeters converted to feet. It's 4.9. Yep. Unless I'm doing this wrong, that means that she's not four, even 5 foot. Offenus is 4 foot 9? I didn't think it was that <laughs> bad. Bro, even Jeanne de York is taller than her. She's 5'2". Wait, how tall? The... Oh, wow. Yeah, the average height of a 13-year-old girl is 5 foot 1 and 3 quarters. Oh, my lord. <laughs> What about well, no, they're not Japanese. 150 so. centimeters tall. Holy shit. It was midday in Temple School City. Magic God Offenus looked down at her hands. She was 150 centimeters tall. At some point, she had ret returned to her perfect god form. <laughs> what the hell? What was Kavachi cooking? I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words right now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Well, I swear, like, she never looked that small in uh, in the NT illustrations compared to, like, the other characters. Dude, she looks like she's, like, 5'2", five 5'3", five or something, but... Hey, hey, we're, not, we're using the yeah, metric system because that's feet. what Kamachi's using. Like, I, I, I always do feet and inches. There you go. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, yo. My my brain is like on shock right now. <laughs> That's so short. Are, oh my are, god. Are you are you inhaling the copium? Um, dude, I've been inhaling copium for a long time. This is a new type of copium. Damn. <laughs> I wonder if like Four Toro Wiki has updated nine. it. Oh, oh wait, uh, well, the only the only the only the only way to dispute this is saying that okay, it's a crossover, so it's not canon. So yeah, it's not. I mean, that why would you like change that? Why would you change it? Oh. Height. That, that is true. Centimeters. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, Toro no. Wiki hasn't updated it. They've just got her, you know, very height, which is centimeters. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Oh, so I guess they just divided it by ten. <laughs> fair, fair, oh, yeah. When you get hit by the fairy that spell, you just get so... your height divided by ten. <laughs> there you go. It makes sense. Madness. Offness is shook. Offness, how does it feel to be a midget? Well, thank God I'm 5'9", so... Uh... What are you oh, talking... What are you talking about? You're 4'9". You're <laughs> I'm 4'9", I'm 5'9", bro. <laughs> the character Offness is 4'9". I'm 5'9". Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my <laughs> okay. Alright, shall we talk about Fiamma? Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Talk about the friends part. Obviously... Perma cannot beat DRC alone. I'd be very surprised if he did. Bet. And Bet. then... He's gonna dragon fist him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, he... well that would be an interesting encounter, I'm sure, but... Do you yeah, think, I think that'll be the last result? The Who well, knows? What's the deal with them? Well, yeah, what what friends are going to come to Terma's aid? Well, like, because listen, the Yama has been missing in. It's it's honestly a running joke at the series at this stage, except that Kamachi doesn't acknowledge it like he does sometimes with Himigami. Like, how has it been this long since NT thirteen, and we still don't know if Yama lived or hospital? Honestly, crazy. Because we had the opportunity to see Fiamma in GT2, where we went, where the arc was pretty much based around the hospital for the most part, and yet we didn't see him at all. Are we yeah. actually going to see Fiamma at the hospital or not? Like, because this is a joke. This just just tell us, Kamachi. It's kind of similar thing with Yuitsu. We don't know if Yuitsu lived or died. Just got jumped on by the <laughs> Kamisato harem, you, and then was never seen you again. The comic on Twitter of Fiamma. Yeah, it was a Tatis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was That's a masterpiece. Gonna... I love that. I have to stay inside or I'm finished. Oh, God. It, it's, it's so wholesome to see Kuro... <laughs> let, me, let me repeat that. <laughs> it's so wholesome to Homeless see lover, Thomas' girlfriend Kuroko come to, come to help him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Fiamma uh, will show up. You don't think so? Nah, he's gone. Uh, listen, if he is gone, then just tell us. I I'd be less than less annoyed. Cause I if he's there, listen, then tell us. He's the main villain of Old Testament, and we don't even know if he's that dead or alive. That was like 20 years or... ago. <laughs> I mean, it is nearly 20 years since the series started. We're getting to the anniversary soon, aren't we? Fucking hell. Yeah. Not long left. But legit. We need we need answers and we were saying oh will Kamisato come back? I mean Kamisato will only be useful if he's moved his conflicting yeah. desires because he separated the objector from him. He's got a doesn't he have yeah, a I mean, rule in the fridge? Just as a meat shield, oh yeah. <laughs> realistically okay realistically of people that we know are available realistically feasibly within you know academy city uh makoto and misaki 
naturally. I Woo! think it's about time for them to do something. Their little Hell yeah, Misa Misa again. Um, they'll get bodied again, but you know, at least they were there. Uh Accelerator probably won't show up. He's in jail for being a bad boy. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 hold on one second there, sir. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's probably going to stay in jail the whole entire arc, isn't he? <laughs> he's just I, not gonna know, I hope he stays in jail forever. Um, Very good. Himagami totally will show up. Save the day. I mean, if he's, if he's a vampire, then, then it will be effective, because look at his teeth. He's yeah, got the Baba exactly. teeth on crack. He's got the Baba smile. Oh, Baba could show up? Yeah. That's <laughs> what do you mean he could show up? He drowned. Yeah. No, there's no, no way he got out he alive. Just, that's only in the anime. In the light novel, he was just like he was forced to stay in there, and he had like. So oh much yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. To actually live, so he was just gonna yeah, slowly yeah. deteriorate there. Um, yeah. My bad, my bad. Yeah, fake fan. I remember now. Uh, hey, hey, it's been a while since I read that volume. We'll see. Yes, Index will show up. Arothenus. Aradia. Uh, I mean, the Transcendents are going to be there. They just got their leader murked in the first step. For like first 30 seconds of having that guy there. Will they follow CRC? Or will they fight against him? I mean, if they do yeah. a Kamisato harem, then they will follow him. They'll just be like, oh, right. we don't want to die. Unless they're like, they just run away or whatever. What I'm curious is about is what the hell is going to stop ERC from actually you know, taking lives and every, everything? Because we know Kamachi doesn't mean... like killing characters. He even like the Nameless Fodders, considering no one died in GT2, even though they probably should have done. Mm, maybe it's just... The, he'll pull the he's so focused on Anna Springle he doesn't care about the other people <laughs> maybe well considering his goal is literally to wipe out humanity like I don't see why he won't just be like picking people off considering how powerful he is I mean he's so powerful why doesn't he just blow up the planet right then and there because he doesn't want to blow up the planet he wants to erase humanity right he's well, like then, uh, why doesn't he just like you know do it magic god well, Train, well, we, well, we don't, we don't know. We, he probably can't do it right now. That's why he needs to kill Honest Springle, probably. Think uh, about yeah. it. If Honest he kills Springle. Honest Springle, he'll probably get something from her. And then in turn, then he could probably blow up and kill everybody. Right. And then, then at that point, he's like, all these infinite dimensions will be destroyed. We erase humanity and all this stuff. Uh, I hope that's what it, what it is anyways. But... Hmm. And actually, I hope he wins too. I, I actually hope CRC wins, beats everybody in this volume except Alistair and, and Toma. Series just ends. No, it will no. And then they'll come back next volume, GT10, some miraculous way. I don't know how. Good old <laughs> but Mary. Somehow. No, I thought Mary can't revive Toma anymore. No, that she couldn't revive him at the time because he was too low on blood. Or there wasn't oh, that's what it was. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I don't think Toma should win, or like they like the good guys should not win the first fight. They should lose, and then the next one they should win. I feel it'd be like a way better story than just you know all this hyper CRC for him to lose in the one volume. Nah, bro, ain't gonna happen. It's gotta be like two or three volumes spread out over. Mm -hmm. At least, at least that's what I think. Anyways, I think that'd be a lot better. I mean, going I based just off it. Tomachi's usual schedule i guess history of how long it takes for arcs to complete and stuff particularly in the first half usually like what we're going to volume nine so i can imagine this playing out into a two-parter yeah um, just because you know oath and arc ended after 10 uh ot is where it started picking up at 10 whatever um 10 tends to just be a sweet spot for Kamachi. For a lot of people. That is true. Yeah. I mean, GT9 could potentially be on par with 
NT9. I'm not, I mean, like, I'm, that's really, you know, a bold statement, but like, if all this hype is really be... concerning CRC, then I mean, who knows what could happen? What I mean, I'm gonna destroy a reality again, and Tomo's just gonna fight him oh. through endless phases. I mean, what this time I thought through a trillion <laughs> phases. Uh, but but often is, uh, did you know that Kamachi peaked at at, at, at NC9 and he, he can't write anything good ever again? Because because no uh, often his arc I was didn't so perfect. Care about anything on the wiki after the Othinus article? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so. F <laughs> <laughs> <She's dumb. laughs> I swear, bro. No, but it's legit. There's people who think that. There's legit. I've seen. Too many fucking people who said, Oh, Kamachi will never write anything as good as NT9. Like, Shut the hell up. Dude, go I never read anything. Do it yourself NT9. off and watch and before, read NT9 before. over and over again if that's what you want. And th and that's we, the meanwhile, thing, we like, will enjoy the new stories. Yeah, like everything after, like maybe nothing might not be as peak as NT9, but they're still good stories, though. Like, they're still good. I enjoyed a lot of it. But, you know, people are just spoiled. Damn. Um, Tacho's calling me cringe. <laughs> I mean, that's true, though. I mean, you kind of are, though. You were going to dress with Miska. Hey, that was, like, that, was, that was the point. I was doing the too cringe cowardly to dress nerd voice. And make it a radio to yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Tacho is just a this... hater. I'll, Bro, I'll forgive guy. her, though. But... Yeah. I don't know. There's so many. He things. likes Demon Slayer. That's that's, that's even oh. bigger cringe. <laughs> Damn, bro, you going for the roast? <laughs> I have to. Um, I lost your train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> How about I say train something? Train of thought. Yeah. What were you even talking about, TBH? Uh, probably something about Toma and something about what could happen. His height, what? About his <laughs> friends coming. Up, well, we're talking about Kamisato and that. Just... Oh yeah, who's gonna show up? Yeah. Mm. You know, I do think it'd be possible for Accelerate to actually like get out of jail like this one time to help, and then go back nah. to the jail willingly. I don't and think then... so because the whole point of uh gt1 was to show that he wasn't gonna leave no matter what all right all right so here's what's gonna happen all right accelerator is gonna embed another third tree of cloth into the world right and then he's just gonna do some law manipulation type stuff to just one tap crc i'm uh, technically it. inside of jail <laughs> but i'm not <laughs> <laughs> gonna oh, bring man. the dark may project back and all right <laughs> guys let me make, make a suggestion a all right we we bring back the gutsy boy the gita and he we have so dude I yo mean, he, he actually could like he yeah i'm with falcon yeah he really could because like it's he's trampling through academy city and uh trampling over people as it says in the description so like i'm pretty sure gun hall would have a reason to show up if this is a very public event yep a guy and just wearing a robe trampling through the city i'm sure it'll be on tv God. <laughs> that that, that counts is gonna be hype though if if um if sagita actually faces down on crc i mean he's got no chance but it'd be hype as hell Didn't Olerus say something about Gunha back when they fought in SS2? Uh, you mean about him having the potential? It's something about that his he hasn't potential. Tapped into. I can't remember. Yeah. Quite. Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I made, I made a video about it in my Sogita Powers video. Basically, if he realized the extent or nature of his power. He could be as strong as self. All right, then Gunha's gonna solo CRC. You know, it would be really cool is that a CRC went out of his way to kill Hamazura and then went on with his day. I think that'd be really cool. What, what, what do you guys think? 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. That's the best yeah. storytelling perspective. Yeah. yeah, me too, bro. Yeah, me too. By the way, I made Kotcho into a moderator. You're welcome. Oh. What? You have a free job. She's going to abuse the power. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I, anybody else who could like you think could actually like show up though? Um, <clears throat> I mean, it'd be you cool know, if we got all level fives. But I was just about, will show up. Yeah, I was just about to say Ihana Etsu. If he showed up, that'd be really cool. Like, yeah, you explore more of his powers. If this dude really is the biggest threat, like they're making him out to be, he was stronger than all the espers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And what, what was the, what was the uh, the thing uh, the description in uh, the item light novel too? He was like the bane of the dark side or whatever. The bane like of the dark side, but like at the same time, because you mentioned the the dark the item stories, do you think they're saving his reveal for those? Because they've been really focusing on building him up in those. I think they are actually. Yeah, I, I really do think they are. But when they describe his power as something that ignores concepts. Uh, he can challenge the system of God and something else. I forgot everything is said in that description. Like, that makes him out to be really busted. Like, insanely busted for a level 5 Esper, who's number 6. Like, he shouldn't be number 6 if yeah. he's that powerful. So, I got a feeling something, something, something's going on. And he might show up in this arc where he's needed. Or she's needed. I don't think we have a confirmed gender on him, do well, we? No. I, I think Look, everyone just sort of yeah. assumes it's a he because yeah whatever but um no, i was gonna say something i can't remember now <laughs> well it, it's it's interesting because the description we got of i harness power in gt2 they can't buff themselves they, they can only buff others and turn them into their perfect yeah. versions of them, themselves but at the same time, do we really trust Ihana's word? It's kind of ambiguous. Yeah. Oh, oh, but... I remember now. It, I'm wondering if he's number six for like roughly the same reason that Gunha is number seven and that you can't really rank them according to their power compared oh, to the others. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think of it like that. Mm -hmm. Huh. Damn, that means Misaki is technically the weakest. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Ouch. I mean, I mean that's okay, always okay. Wait, wait. Actually, <laughs> okay, because we saw AU was able to do some stuff to Mugino, mm. like, and she's weaker than Misaki. So Misaki theoretically could beat Mugino. That's crazy. And if Depends she goes like power first. insane, like she did in twenty two R. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then like. Even Makoto doesn't or is susceptible. Dude, I'm sorry, bro. But when we're talking about Mugino right now, it just reminded me of like a death battle of Misaka and Akilua. And then in the video, they called uh, Mugino and <laughs> they called Mugino an unhinged Karen because she just shot lasers everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I was just dying of laughter. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that has nothing to do with anything, but I thought it was funny. Yeah, no worries. Unhinged Karen. Yeah. This made me curious about the true nature of Ihana's power. I mean, considering that. Uh, I, I did make a members only video about this, but like, considering the link links to like. Um, uh, Mugano, because like, or what's she called? Oh, what's her name? What's her name? Carol. Yes, Carol. Carol uh, helped develop both Ihana and Mugano's power, so there is some overlap, like Ihana's power ele electron based as well, or does it work beyond that with like a AIM fields and, and, and shit? It's interesting, but yeah, there are those statements that are made in the epilogue. We don't really know how Ihan is able to do that. Like, we don't even know the full extent of how they can make someone a perfect ideal version of themselves to begin with, if that is their power. But, yeah. 
and at the same time being able to mask their appearance whether that is an esper power or something else yeah so many mysteries well it will be hella hype if we got all level fives on screen facing down crc that would be peak whether it will happen or not Dude. another story <laughs> No, honestly, like, there's really nothing, like, there's no wrong answer to this. Because, like, that theoretically could happen somehow mm. if, you know, Kakane just, you know, wants to come back. He's low five. five. Or, you know, say yeah. five, you know, however it want to work. Um, you know, but, no, that'd be really cool. I, I mean, yeah. But I kind of want to focus on, uh, I really hope it's, like, Toma and him fighting and then, like, I don't even know, man. Like, you know, you know me being <laughs> me being the power scaler and all. I'm really hoping for some like, you know, infinite dimension, you know, warping, you know, all this <laughs> crazy stuff. You know, you know how it'd be. You know how it'd be with me. But uh, realistically, though, that's probably not what's gonna happen. Hmm. Oh, and what about the um? I can't remember her name, but it was the other uh, dark-skinned uh, girl that was in GTA that was chasing them, who had control over mechanics and. Um... Boot thieves. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened? Is she still around? I, I can't even remember. Whatever happened to her? I think they just incapacitated her, right? Oh, was she incapacitated? They... they tied her up. Like Terma, I think Terma tied her up uh, to make us like unable to use. Like kind of, kind of similar to what they did to Aradia. I forgot yeah. what how uh, Mutt Thieves activates her powers, like with her hands or something. I, I don't know, but yeah, she's she's like <laughs> uh, yeah, she can't move. So hmm. yeah, it was something like that. Well, I was just curious because I kind of forgot whatever happened to her. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of forgot. Yeah, she she was okay. She wasn't the best. She was a filler stretch. villain. Yeah, she. <laughs> that's just that's just the best way to uh, explain it. She really was. I mean, she had some, um, she had some she had funny cool moments, though. like when she when she talks that random amusement park worker. <laughs> I like that moment. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, I'm but, gonna say yep. I know yep. That was yeah, but too. yeah, uh, yeah. But otherwise. Her personality was kind of like just very calm and collected. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, I, I will. I was trying to avoid, you know, anything you know, maybe negative. Maybe she'll but... pull in a where like some people were like, radio was sort of a letdown in her first appearance, and now she's like wife, like some people's favorite waifu, you know? For real? So, Over Nephthys? That's crazy. Was Nephthys your waifu? Hell no. Hell no, no, no. Waifu's only from the Fate series, homie. Um, but I don't even really have one anymore, you know. Can't really have one anymore. Why? Because she's 15 centimeters tall? No, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, dude. He's, he's moved Aeon on said, to... The, the Rizzler. Yeah, yeah. Is, is Riz his extended to the real world now he's moved <laughs> on beyond the... Extended to the real world <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> he has no need for the 2d waifus anymore he has become oh, a man tragic. <laughs> <laughs> that's tragic <laughs> <laughs> oh my god malcolm is just jealous he's still waiting for his uh 3D waifu. waifus get old they wrinkle they turn to dust 2d waifus are forever yeah well i'll be dead I don't too know, man. <laughs> so it doesn't matter <laughs> That's not what you were telling us before. Wait, what did I tell y'all before? <laughs> well, I say before as in a long time ago. Um, you know how your your dream, dream girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, they don't age as fast as everyone else. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, we, we, we understand, we understand. Yes. Malcolm is a, is a shy person. True? 
Uh, yeah, I'm ex I'm, ex I'm incredibly shy. Okay. I'm afraid of people. What? Even Index fans? Or do we yeah, not trust people? especially Index fans. They smell really <laughs> weird. I mean, we, we, we barely classify as people, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Degens in the basements. Especially me. I'm a degen in a loft. I'm a degen right. in real life, British. so, you know. Fair play, Aww. fair play. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, are you a shy person? Yeah. Yeah, no, me too. Don't worry. We'll have a therapy anyway. session, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> we'll have a therapy sh session, don't a worry. Therapy session. I think I'd rather just go back to our two hour race wars idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why? To escape Why does this, this happen con. on the pod? <laughs> to yes. escape this awkwardness. <laughs> Oh my god. But the awkwardness is what makes it great. Love it. Yeah. What else do we have to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> this dude trying to shift the conversation so hard. I'm sorry I'm trying to shift the conversation back to Tuaru podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's fair enough. Oh, spoil spoil. All right. <laughs> All right. Fine then, fine then, Malcolm. All right, Malcolm, tell me this then. Okay. How do you think they'll be, like, re okay, realistically... Oh. How do you think they'll beat CRC? Um, a gun. You really think he's gonna be gun level? Yeah, I think Hamazur is gonna show up and. Oh, and shut up, <laughs> dude! He's <laughs> such a. All right, bro. I see you. I see you, man. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Not a rail gun. Makoto's gonna show up and beat him. Yeah, the <laughs> scenery. No, no, ain't uh... no way. On a shard by the right. railgun. If that happens, okay. that's gonna be like the human. If that really happens, I'll give each of you two hundred dollars. If if that really happens, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna ask JSO Six just to translate it. No, no, no! You gotta read my comedy. You gotta read my comedy, bro. No, no, no. If Will it count if it's a liquid proof railgun? Huh? Will it count if it's a liquid proof railgun? No, it's got to be her original real gun. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like saying, yo, can she use that kaiju rail gun? No. Not, not like it's much different, just more firepower, but you know <laughs> what I mean. Mo most original. realistically, though, is dragons. Oh, I you think Thomas dragons are going to come out? I mean, like, what else could you really imagine beating him? I like, unless, like, they summon a true magic god or something. Open his proof form back. Get him and... from back, yo, Malcolm with the big brain. I see. You. Right. He said right. But How yeah, about outside of like that? I can't imagine. Hmm. How about you know? Alistair said his body temporary. So uh -huh. how about if Alistair takes over DRC's body? Maybe. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So something... Does Alistair still have the powers of Karanzan? Uh, we can assume so. I mean, we haven't and really seen so, Alistair use much. Yeah. Yeah. And if so, can he then wield those powers along with his own expertise in magic together and fight CRC? That's what I wanted to know for... God knows how many volumes now. Well, this <laughs> Still would waiting. Be the time to decide. Oh please, yes. Let me just show us Alistair. I mean, we we saw a brief instance of Alistair fighting Fees, but he just wanted shot at her. So yeah, and we didn't even get to easy see easy what attack fight. he used. Yeah. <laughs> please, I want to see Alistair actually fight properly. I want to see blasting rod plus fl flaming sword. That'd be hype as well. Ooh, that um, would be pretty hype. That would be really cool. Oh, Alternatively, no, actually... there's Sorry, also go. the possibility of uh, bringing Alice back to life in order to finish him. That's a good one, yeah. Uh, um, typical 
I was very Kamachi. Yeah, too cli- you think you think they're very you think they'd be a little bit too cliche though to bring her back to get to like. Go, I mean, they gotta go, bring her back, go. and that's that is what true. I imagine would be their also story um, reasoning for it. True. Sorry for interrupting you, cutting you off, but. No, no, it's good. I was gonna ask um realistically i don't remember if they explained it but uh what type of match do you think crc is going to use because all we saw him was one shot alice but that wasn't really magic though was it yeah he's like he kind of just rushed her yeah he's kind of like speed blister right so like what match do you think he has i don't even think he speed blitzed her because she was like distraught already Frozen. Oh yeah, did he just like walk up to her? Oh, yeah, she was he frozen. Just walked up and yeah. Oh, okay. she I have to wasn't that. gonna fight back anyways. Um, because she, she was like huh. at a emotional imbalance or whatever. Oh yeah, uh, she was. I remember. Yeah, yeah, she was. She yeah. was. Huh. Wait, I was just curious. Like, what um, what type of magic do you think he he could he could use? I mean, it could be anything, literally, but. Like maybe mm. Rosicrucian magic. <laughs> I guess it would be in the same line as Anna, right? Yeah. Hmm. Probably. I guess random random bullshit go. <laughs> random yeah. bullshit. Maybe he has go. he's like gacha I mean, magic as well. Whenever God knows. you're as powerful as a true magic god, then like yeah. Do you think he'll have like reality warping abilities too then? I figure. I don't know how you really like write somebody as that powerful without giving them that. Right. There must be like a like a backlash or something. No, not even that, because the true magic gods didn't even have like. But like, even like Alice a... could do reality warping. She could. Yeah. Yeah. On a smaller scale, for sure. Yeah. But... As far as we know. Yeah. yeah. And she could manipulate time. Yeah. And she could bring people into a fictional world. Man, Alice is kind of low key busted if you like really yeah. think about it. Her self-defense system didn't even activate for CRC, where she has that mm. dark Alice pop out. Yeah. And whatever. Oh, I, I love, dude. I love GT5. It gave me so many more uh, hexes and scalings for Toma. It was great. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This is all... This... I don't know. It feels like everything regarding this guy is going to be like blank slate. There's no telling until it actually happens. True. But I was just curious to think of what you guys thought about it because honestly, I don't have an answer. I think he's just going to be busted and have reality warping abilities. I really do. And then like he'll have some like demonic magic, something, something along those lines. Maybe referencing Dante's Inferno or something. I don't, I don't even know. But yeah, I think Alistair's going to die. He can't. Be <laughs> spiritual... No, he's oh, just gonna he just... die. Alistair oh yeah, like the other, like the other three <laughs> times, <laughs> Alistair's died and, and and lived. Yeah, but this time for real. <laughs> this time, no, yeah, yeah. Alistair. Alistair, gonna... Alistair's the end game, man. I've said it once. Oh, say it again. Yeah, Alistair's is here end. for the end game. Wait, also, this... also, welcome. <laughs> also... The ending isn't ending here. Yeah, no, definitely not. No, I hope uh, not. GT10, it's a two-parter, remember? Oh, no, and then that's it. It's not going to go to 22 or 23. No, no, he's going to... It's the plot twist. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the fans will be delighted at that. Just, there's no no confirmation he's that we're in the final arc. He's okay, got gotcha but, money now. We're done. <laughs> oh, also, also, Othinus is by foot because she wears heels. <laughs> loser I forgot about that what <laughs> she's what? she's not she's not four and nine she's five foot because she wears heels Othin is oh okay that's what you're back to I was yeah. like oh uh, so that's why she's told because she wears heels what yeah oh uh, literally the same case in Mugano Mugano is smaller than Shokoho but because of her heels she taller wait, wait seriously really shorter than Shokoho what? No yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Mugano is like oh. five, five, four, something like that. Shogo's like five, no six. Wait, uh, yeah, what? it's true. Yeah, it's true. Mugano's it's true. Five, four, or something like that. I, I, I'm, I know, I know, uh, I know for sure. Shokoho is the same height as Toma, which is five, six. But 
Yeah, yeah, Mugano is definitely sh shorter than Shokoho. I think it was revealed. Okay, yeah. I Shokoho can't remember what was revealed though. Five six. Five six is yeah, yeah. tall for an Asian woman. For yes. Asian okay, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I was right. Uh, Mugano is five four. What? what? <laughs> yeah. What? I never Have you... knew that. <laughs> this was so confirmed weird. ages. This confirmed ages ago. This confirmed like one or two years ago. Two years Dude, ago. I'm out here looking at Uthan is killing Toma hundreds of billions of times. Right? I ain't worried about no one's height over here. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I've never <laughs> once thought about anybody's height. I, I never thought of the height, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. It was like even even her model in like the what was it the PSP game where you can play as Mugano? She looks really yeah. tall, but that goes to the heels. Oh, I gotta look at the end. Oh, now. then yeah. Shoko definitely beats Mugino in a fight. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, my mind See, is no, no, I am the true crazy. fan. No, I am the true fan. <laughs> no, I'm watching. Just made a mistake. <laughs> I blame the metric system. Stupid animes making things taller than they actually are. Oh okay, yeah, Shokuho you know is tall is for a taller girl. than both of them. <laughs> what did you say, Index? Yeah, did you know Index is actually taller than both of them? Stop capping. Stop nah, capping. That's not true. Nah, she is. She's five foot eight. Bull. Nah, it's true. No, it's not. You're talking about your bum. No, that's true. It's not. How is Index 5'8 when she's taller she than Misako? Is. She doesn't wear heels. Well, how, she doesn't how wear is heels. Shokuho taller than Mugino? It just doesn't make sense. Because Mugino wears heels. Mugino's got nah, the fucking high he, heels all the time. I don't know, I don't know how she runs nah. in them. Yeah, and Index oh, wears battle much. boots. Wait, how tall is Hamazura? Hamazura is 6'3. <laughs> is he really? Yeah. No, no, he's not. He's not. No, I really, I'm, really. I'm not, I think Hamazura is taller than an Excel and Terma. By a small. I don't think he's shorter. Shoot, it doesn't tell me. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think Hamazura's height has been confirmed, but I swear, I swear he must be taller than Terma and Excel. Yeah. Six foot three. He's not six three. He's not taller than Motoharu. Motoharu's like. Than, like mo yeah, he beats Motoharu. Moto easy. Motoha Motoharu and Ogami are like the tallest. Students that we've seen. Yeah, exactly. Tallest students. Hamazura is not a student. He dropped out. He is a student. He's a dropout. Yeah. Yeah, that means you're not a well, student if you dropped out. Yeah, but he's under what Academy City classes as a student. He technically is one because students are Aspers. Yeah, well, I don't. He was know a student. He was a student at some point. So. Yeah. So, what, so was your student. mom? Is she still a student now? <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> He should be in school. He's, he's, he isn't. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because he's six foot three. <laughs> Amazura isn't six three. Bro, this guy, man, I swear, bro. I, I'm six three, and he's he's not a six three. Yeah, yeah. So you need to cosplay as Amazura since you're the same height. No, I I can't because he's blonde. Okay, dye your hair. <laughs> Duh. I don't want to dye my hair blonde or wear a blonde wig. Why would I want to be blonde? Blondes are stupid. What are you talking about? Kamachi loves blondes. <laughs> I know he does. <laughs> By the way, if you're if you're blonde listening to this, it, that was a joke. No. I don't know if this is girlfriend's blonde as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mel, I'm redeeming myself out of hell. Correct himself because of earlier how he tried to, you know, talk about, you know, Aradia and all that stuff. Crazy. Yeah. He had to, he had to clarify this time. <laughs> Yo, you funny, bro. Uh. But yeah, it, I don't know. I want to cosplay Mavis at some point, but he wears a kilt. Well, hold on, hold on one second. Wait, what, well, I what's, don't see what's what, stopping you. Yeah, yeah, what's stopping you, bro? You are already going to wear a skirt dressed as Makoto Misaka. So what's the problem? Yeah, but not well, outside. I mean, yeah, but yeah, right, yeah, right. not Listen. Listen. The kilt is a Scottish symbol. 
Yeah, but you're I'm British. English. I'm culture. I'm culturally appropriate in the the borders. You culturally appropriated them whenever you forced them into the UK. <laughs> Funny. Ah, I see you didn't study your history, Malcolm, because James the First matter. of England was originally matter. James the Fourth of Scotland, and he is the one who united the kingdoms of Scotland and England. So it was actually a Scot who did that. So fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, the winners rewrite history all the time. The winners rewrite history. Oh, very original. <laughs> Tell that to what's he called? Uh, Thucydides, who wrote the history of Peloponnesian War, when Athens lost. What is that? Okay, you know the Peloponnesian War was where Athens was at war with Sparta. It was the the Corinthian League versus the Athenian League, and the Athenians lost, and uh, Sparta and Sparta and the League of Corinth won. And yet Thucydides was an Athenian in exile, and he's the only source we've got of that war, pretty much. So yeah, well, you know, the losers like to write. So there you go. Ha ha. He's. Yo, I'm kind of impressed, Aeon, with his history knowledge. Okay, I see. Well, those fucking de fucking degrees better be worth it from the amount of money cost. <laughs> they no, weren't worth I, it. I, <laughs> I'd I, be a YouTuber I, I now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's history now. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> my no. parents are so proud of me, as you can tell. Yeah, anyway, I can't say the same about mine. I was being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Awkward. <laughs> so awkward. Well, well they're, they're, they're proud of me in their own way. They would prefer me to work for the government or do some ill oh, job instead that. of being the an index YouTuber, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait, man. Yo, one of these days when index takes off in the West, bro, and it gets super popular... Oh man, bro. We'd be like, we've been here for the start. We've been here since day one, 2004. Uh, April something. I forgot the date. <laughs> I forgot the date. But you know what I mean. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. But I have many plans just like Alistair. Oh, so people are roasting yeah, me in the, in the comments, was, in the chat. <laughs> Went to school just to become a YouTuber sad times. <laughs> I mean, like, hey. to be fair, like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, look at, I like, mean, Sasha Baron Cohen. He studied, like, a philosophy degree or something like that at uni and then became a really successful actor. So what you also, do for, like, three years of your life in a, a school doesn't determine your entire life. Until you die, in my opinion. But hey, that's just my fault. And of course, Elon went to school. He's actually smart and intelligent, unlike the Saitama fan base. Oh, crazy, dude. <laughs> it's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, shots fired. Are there still fans after season two? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, shots fired. I say that like season three wasn't. Horrible trash of index. Yeah, crazy right, there was how you on both front season three. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you ask me. More. Even the manga for One Punch Man sort of isn't that great. After it, it took way too long through that arc. Do people say like it fell off after the Garo and uh Scythe it, it, it 100% did. Oh, did it really? That's what I heard. Yeah. Web novel's the only thing worth reading. Or web uh web comic. The original what? one's only one worth manga? reading. Not the manga, the web novel, the one punch man manga is based off of. Hmm. Well alright then. Comic. But yeah, it it they took so long on the Guru arc and everything related to that. Like ten times longer than what the original webcomic was, that it's just like it wasn't any good. I didn't like anything in the One Punch Man manga from that huh. arc onwards. That's fair. Hmm. I'm going. Anything else to talk about? Roving floors. Yeah, there's there's something I want to talk about. I'm just gonna something real quick. Sure. I'm just being in the 
Oh, well, yeah. I yelled a screen on anime characters. I think you're fine. Okay, right. Yeah, it, it wasn't the Corinthian League, it was the Peloponnesian League. My bad. Oh just, my god, sorry. he no. likes some, the history. Fake historian, got things wrong. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, uh, listen. I studied that period I and I studied Alexander afterwards. The Corinthian cool. League was after that. Listen, there were, there were so many leagues. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm allowed one discrepancy. This is this is years ago I studied this. All right. One Moving discrepancy on. ruins uh, all of history, don't you know? All right, all right, all right. Okay, so what I want to talk about is, we, I mean, we briefly mentioned it, but Rosenkreutz seems to be wanting to go after Anna. And they are technically in the same... Cabal. I, I, I don't know if we can count... Yeah. I don't know if you can count the Rosenkreutzians as a cabal, maybe. Same belief system or whatever. But why, why does he want to go after her? And, and I think... It might have something to do with the fact that Anna Sprengel knows, well, what Rosenkreutz truly was. That's why she was trying to stop the Bridge Builders Cabal from reviving him and was completely alienating herself from that. So, what's going on there? I don't really know. Maybe it's... Maybe he wants to gain some of the powers that she had. Like, what, she has authority over uh, Iwas and stuff at the moment. So, maybe it could be related to that, but I really don't know. Like, I can't think of anything that's really hinted at why he would want to kill her. You know, I think, actually, she's got, like, some deep-down power she don't even know about that only CRC knows about. Kind of like how we don't know much about the Imagine Breaker, you know, like, what power comes out when it's chopped off or whatever. Or disconnected, but like maybe there's just something only he knows that he'll reveal later. I don't know if there are any like hints or build ups to that, but that's my guess. Or else I don't know any other reason why he'd go after Anna like like that. Somebody said in chat she may just know his weakness. She would be privy to what yeah. he's weak against. Oh, I mean, Did yeah. I mean, also, like, okay, yeah. if you think from a storytelling perspective too, that would make the most sense. They have to rush to wake her up and keep her from getting killed because. She would be the only one who knows how to stop him. So that would sort of like bring all the tension about in the story and whatnot. Okay, but then say 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 she really does know his weakness, and then CRC kills her anyways before she even gets the weakness out. What happens then? Well, I mean, that's the whole point of this story, right? Would be, oh, okay, if that happens, then we lose. If it doesn't happen, then we can win. Well, I mean, Toma lost, you know, an NT9, and then, you know, he or NT8 or whatever, and they just, you know, switched oath, and this is, you know, uh, yeah, you know mindset. It, are they going to repeat but, that? Yes, I can totally see them doing that. Nah, Little comedy. Nah. I can see that. Nah, because this isn't a cute girl he can turn into a waifu. What? <laughs> you got 15 centimeter tall waifu? Yeah, I mean, re even to make Alistair redeemable, he had to turn him into a cute girl. I bet you Aeon like that one. Is Alistair truly redeemed though? Uh, it doesn't matter. He's a cute anime girl, so people will forgive him. I don't know, man. You gotta be careful with that stuff now in 2023 with all this transgender stuff going around. You gotta be careful with that uh -oh. stuff. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, you gotta be careful with that. <laughs> Damn, so are you still there? checking to make sure he wasn't cancelled on Twitter yet. <laughs> um, I, I don't know where he went. Yeah, where'd he go? Ah, uh, no, right. Alright, <sighs> so welcome to our podcast. <laughs> but, no, honestly though, I think, I, I really do think, like, I think CRC is going to be, like, really broken. We're going to see some magic that, like, we've never seen before maybe it won't even be magic it'll be like like magic but like elevated but it's called something different i don't know something like that super magic uh, <laughs> yeah true true magic huh I, I don't know yeah there we go like a yeah. magic god nah true magic god yeah and there was also about what like the secret chiefs too like i don't know if they'll play a part in this at all but oh yeah what was the deal with um, the secret chief stuff 
I don't even Toma! Oh, there he is. He, He's alive. He became a cute anime girl. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's how you're going to avoid getting canceled. On Twitter. <laughs> Could you imagine? Forgive him his sins. Being reincarnated into an anime girl. Yeah, it's every man's dream. <laughs> It can happen to yeah. anyone. <clears throat> that, I think that's the only thing I can really imagine. Him wanting to kill Anna for would be her, her knowing his weakness. That is a very logical answer. I like it. Do we have any other discussion points from the volume or not the volume, because it's not out yet. The synopsis or cover. Um, okay, my joke cannot abandon a girl who was once his enemy. Absolutely not. In the face of desperate situation, Thomas Santa Claus. They were friends. Friends, blah, blah, blah. Friends. Nothing really. I Barry Sphere. Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking off fairy tale. Thomas <laughs> eat random form of fire and beat, beat CRC. Legit, I haven't read Fairy Tale. I, I only know about the Fairy Sphere because I watched King of Lightning's like review of the final chapter. It's the funniest chapter review I've ever like watched in my life. It's brilliant. Oh, Bro, I don't know. What, <laughs> well, when I, mean, I, I watched what? like Fairy Tale all the way up to like whenever they all got time skipped. I think that's whenever I stopped. It was like yeah. the ending was always the same of every arc where it's like. Natsu ate a different kind of fire and beat the bad guy. <laughs> like, literally yeah, every just, single time. Well, actually, it was really funny because when he was fighting Zeref, um, Natsu literally burnt... Natsu burnt time and space because that's one of the magics that uh, Zeref was <laughs> using. And now, since he burned time and space magic or whatever, it, people are like, oh, he's outerversal because he's above the concept of that, which he burned. And I'm sitting here like, what the hell? That's Bro. stupid. Yeah, yeah, I think the worst part of power scaling is whenever the story's just stupid. It doesn't yeah. make sense to actually scale it. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Right. Shall we ask for some questions? Yeah, sure. All right, if you have a question for me, Mal, Offenus, or all three of us, please send them in the chat and we will get to them when we can. Although, please limit it, please limit it to only one per person. So don't just ask like 10 questions when you've already asked one, otherwise it's not fair. But Super Chats will get priority, as always. And they are much appreciated. Support the channel. Thank you. And make sure to hit like, subscribe, add this video to your favorites and playlists, and hit that little join button next to the subscribe button to get extra videos and content. Malcolm, that was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, you're almost like you should be a YouTuber. Yeah, you yeah, want to go real, ahead dude. and send me some money? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, did you know that when you actually say subscribe or like this video that i think when you're watching a youtube video on mobile like the subscribe or like button will light up it'll do like a little rainbow flash thing which lasts for like a split second oh that's uh, it's crazy. Did like you know right now if you hit the thumbs up button it'll actually show <laughs> makoto's face doing a thumbs up go ahead oh and my. give it a like to see <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> Yeah, do it for your waifu, guys. It didn't work. I just tested it. <laughs> no, 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 everyone's going to dislike it. it. Everyone's going to dislike it now. <laughs> They'll be like, hell no. Actually, no. He just lost a like. Oh, no. <laughs> see, what, see, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? <laughs> um, British troll. Well, we have a question. Yes, we will get around to that. Also, send more questions if you can. If you haven't asked one, that will help. But we don't know. For too long. We want more. 
Okay, Brimakin Productions. What would your exact reaction be if Ufotable was announced to reanimate OT and animate NT? I mean, that would be pretty damn hype. I'd be like, yo, legit? No way! <laughs> did my mic cut off then? Or did that not all go through? Oh, boy. it was fine. I heard everything. I'm just saying oh, okay. That. I like, like, whenever your mic muffled everything, it was crazy. Oh, did I'm it muffle? Is that why? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, right, right. But yeah, I was, I was looking at it flashing up and it, like, dipped out. <laughs> but yeah, that would be my reaction. I'm going to say, if you Foldable really did anime OT again and then new T, or <laughs> new T, <laughs> NT. <laughs> NT Damn, that would be so hype. They might actually even do it correctly. Especially in the fight with Accelerator and Toma. World War Three. I want everything. Not I don't know, all the cutout stuff. I and mean, the fight. Outside of fate, does Fotable really Yes. You thought it was actually really good. Well, I mean like, do they tend to stay as accurate? Do they okay. Outside of Demon Slayer, what was the last like light no or just adaption they did that, that wasn't like fate related? Um, um, let's see, do you count? Do you count Karo no Kyokai because they did that one? Was it good? Yeah, Karo no Kyokai. They have seven movies. It's really good. Oh wait, it's movies. Yeah, they're movies. Oh, it's then in I don't the, know if I count it's them. in the Nasuverse still. Oh, then yeah, I don't count them. Oh, okay. Um, they did God Eater. God Eater was okay. Oh, I watched that. I remember hearing that one wasn't like... It was just okay. Yeah, no. yeah. I yeah. like the girl with like... the hat. Um... Yeah, that's basically what they're known for. They didn't really do much of anything else that's like super notable. I remember before Fate, everything they did was just sort of... Meh. Niche? Yeah. I don't know what happened, but you affordable. You got eight just... money and stopped yeah. paying their taxes. Yeah. Yo, that gotcha game is crazy, bro. Yeah, I don't think I'd really have a reaction to it. I mean, anybody's better. Well, almost anybody's better than what we currently have. So. Ooh, JC staff is not very mm. good. Oh, but of JC course we're getting the Macho does... season five. Yeah, JC staff does great. The only genre they really like excel in is cute girls doing cute things. Everything else is just sort of like, I don't know why they're doing this. They shouldn't be given action oriented series, is what I'm saying. Fair, fair. Uh, I I'd be very surprised, obviously, or expect JC staff to do it. So the fact that uh, New Studio not only has the rights to it, but has picked it up and to as well like restart it I'd, yeah <laughs> i think everyone would just lose their minds it's sort of, of course then it'd be like too, because of the gotcha game yeah like jc's staff is pretty involved in that i think so yeah. uh, i think square enix is actually involved in that well, i don't know if square enix is like square enix makes it but like everything like it's doing the jc staff designs and art oh, okay, okay. and all that and I think they did yeah. the openings for it. So. You know, it, it just it kind of baffles me that like they, like they don't have enough like funds for the NT anime, but they can do an accelerator spinoff, a railgun spinoff. They can do the movie. They can do OVAs. And I'm sitting here like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't okay, think sure, it's sure. like, I don't think they lack the funds. I just, I don't it know. It's expensive really to do an episode. Weird. Though. I wonder if it's just. It's a pain to coordinate something as big as Index. Also, it's a light novel. Light novels are just... Yeah. They're inherently harder to do, which is understandable. Yeah. Well, then, I mean, the Manchi's got I fifth mean, season. Yeah. yeah the and then Manchi's, has... like, like, unironically, it's actually good, and it follows the storyline. And all my friends who actually read the light novels of that, surprisingly, can attest to that, too. So, like, they Sword know what they're doing. gets plenty of... <laughs> Like, Sword Online has more, like, games and stuff. Yeah, they do. 
games out, like, and they get plenty of animes and they're getting their rebooted anime soon so yeah but seo is popular like really popular i mean like index in japan at least is really popular it's true it is but i don't know I it's just, mad uh... yeah it's just really weird how it's been treated over the years i mean it took long enough for the fans to voice their uh, discontent in person and online the mickey to prompt him to make season three and then the Daru project and it's literally gonna have to be the same case again and i'm glad that you know people have made the voices heard this year that's the only way we'll get like them to to do it that's what history has, sh has shown this has never been a wheel it's never been a priority for them it's just very bizarre they have the opportunity to make you know decent amount of money especially from rail but... partly a result of when the era in which index came out and like compared to everything like all the other popular light novels that were around at the time index came out ended and all of their anime adaptions finished right yeah like toradora and shakugan no shana all those kinds well um, like sorry go on i didn't mean to cut you off is it in like Haruhi Suzumiya? Like, it's Index came out at like such an early point for the anime, and because Index, I feel like they may interpret Index as like from a bygone era. That uh oh well, the popular thing now is isekai and the VR stuff, and uh, Sword Art Online is that, and it came out at like. The beginning of this sort of like current gen generation and era of anime that we have going on where adaptions if it's a popular series that gets an adaption it tends to come out pretty quickly um compared to like other series but index it's not an isekai it's technically like a high school battle anime i guess and that's that hasn't been relevant as a genre in a very long time. So I just, I think they look at Index and they're like, this shouldn't be making money. And at some point it may not make money. So it's just a greater risk to keep going with it than it is to just sort of keep it where it is. <clears throat> That's a very fair point. But um, if that is true, like why not show like, like, just nt9 for example like why not just show like othin is destroying the world as like a trailer and then taking him to the uh the alpha phase like something like that like could captivate people because they're like oh magic oh the whole entire world got wiped out oh this dude just got bodied 100 billion times i don't know yeah maybe it's, it's just the way they present it but it's just that, and you know, it's also just the risk like if you take into all this episodes and side stories and everything there's more than a hundred plus episodes of index uh or to and Good. i think a lot of people they may look at it and be like oh this was too hard for new people to come in and take care of and from an executive point of view they probably look at the feedback of index three even though it's more so a result of the production i can imagine you know suits looking at it and be like oh people didn't like it and yeah that's a shame account why that's a shit like i'm gonna say but like index three was only bad not but they, they did rush it but wasn't like the director of it like actually like a really bad director or something like he's, that he's good he did he was the director of azamanga daio right he's really yeah. good at that genre like like i said jc staff excels at cute girls doing cute things genre that slice of life type genre and that's what he excels at but whenever he sort of reaches out into the other realms it tends to just be at best good like not mm. great it's not like railgun adaption tier right Um, I think the only other series comparable to Index that he's directed is, um, it's like, 
the guy goes to a magic school and there's girls there that represent the seven deadly sins or whatever in their magic. I can't Trinity remember. Seven. Oh, Trinity Seven. Yeah, he directed the anime <laughs> Dude, for that. I just made a poll on my YouTube channel about the next video I'm gonna do, and I have a rod from Trinity Seven on it. That's the only reason oh. why I know that. Oh, okay. It was just reminded of it. But yeah, funny. he did Trinity Seven, which like, it's an, it's a good anime adaptation, but it's not like an amazing anime, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, um. It's your typical harem anime. Yeah. It's, whenever it's, it comes to combat battle harem anime that kind of stuff it's just eh. like his his peak is it was good but like then if you give him like slice of life it's like odds of manga de isle which is like a classic right so that's just sort of where i view him in his relation to that's fair yeah well, you know, so that was a very long thing for a question. Hey, what's the next one? I, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, uh, sorry, we did spend sorry, quite a while on that one. No, no, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I, I think it was a good discussion. Uh, so next one, we've got a question from Dixon. When do you think you guys think... Oh, when do you guys think vampires will play a major role? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not, not looking likely. <laughs> GT9. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The GT9. and Rosen, is a vampire. Did you know? Yeah, that's what's gonna Those happen. Teeth. Is whenever they finally wake up, uh, Anna, they'll be like, "What's his weakness?" And she's like, "Deep blood." And that's how it'll <laughs> that'll be. Yeah. Himigami will will be the savior. But yeah, seriously though, I want them to be more prominent or have acknowledgement or have an even like an arc dedicated to them. Oh, it's just, it's just been so long. I just, <laughs> it makes you think of Fiamma. It's just like, oh no, I hope Fiamma hasn't been given the vampire treatment. Where it can actually just <laughs> gone. Fiamma's the vampire? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, no, this is not a conspiracy theory. Uh, do you guys want to add anything to that or? Uh, uh, if they don't somehow end up playing a role. In... Okay, okay. If they do play a role ever... If they do not play a role within the next major index arc, they're never gonna play a role, and that's what I'll go with. The vampires are born to, like just to be forgotten. They are just exactly. useless. Yeah, they're just useless now. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Mister Man, do you think CRC is described really strong? Not necessarily because of like his stats are one and the same as the magic gods. But he he's some stupid all right. He has some stupid OP abilities that's even better than phase magic. I guess we'd have to break down what's better than phase magic in terms of being OP. Being right. able well, to affect the physical world itself. Death magic. No, like, to answer that question, the only thing stronger than manipulating one phase is like like infinite like not even infinite phases, but like You'd have to, like, literally, like... you have to have, like... You'd have to establish, like, a hierarchy and, like, realms in the Twilight Reverse for it to be even more relevant and more powerful. Like, you know what I mean? Because, like, if there's, like, the hidden phase, right, which is above the normal phase, you have to have something above the hidden phase that can destroy even the hidden phase and the normal phase. Because then at that point, you know that phase magic is above that phase. Like, it's just... It's so confusing, bro. Like, you gotta have, like, a lot of, like, stuff that's not even into play yet in the story. If he's gonna be that powerful. Well, so. and then again, like phase magic can't affect the actual physical world; it can only paint over it. Right. So right. if you can like affect the, the pure world, like Coronzon was trying to do, that could be something. I agree. Unless, yeah, unless like you know, CRC is entering the realm of like, you know, plot manipulation, then like transcending realms and you know all this stuff to be a higher dimensional being like beyond higher dimensional being no i mean a crc is the mm. author surprise yeah he's the author of the story he's comedy in disguise <laughs> i thought that was alistair well i guess he's been replaced he has been replaced easy all right next we have a member of the golden dawn delta 999 report card if I like the video, 
will oftenest grow an inch taller. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Maybe. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like the video. Like the video. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll grow an inch taller. No, I thought other oftenest. Hey, Malcolm, shut your mouth. Yeah, which, which oftenest are you referring to? That's, that's the question. Maybe both. Uh, okay. No, I can't get much taller. The height difference between me and my girlfriend be too much. Moolittle asks uh, for all three. Oh, asking for our favorite female and male characters. Okay. Uh, for me, it's Alistair, Accelerator, and Aqua or Fiamma, I guess. I think they just meant all three, like all three of us. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got confused. Because <laughs> I didn't know it was like, oh, top three fe female characters and male characters plus for all three of us. Yeah, yeah, So, Ali stiff male and uh, Shoko female. Yeah, I was thinking Shoko female and uh, Alistair's not a male anymore. How dare you? Mr. He was. <laughs> All right. He, 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 he impregnated a woman. Uh, <laughs> and identifies he... as a male. Yes. He's still. Well, I, I, I don't know in a Japanese text whether it's he or she. It's weird because, like, in in later NT, when Al Alistair got turned into. Well, didn't, didn't turn into it. He became. Well, he shifted the prime Alistair to Alice Tan. The text referred to Alice as a she. But if you look at the GT volumes, Alice is referred to as a he in a female body. Yeah. And it's always he, I don't he, think he, Alistair he, he. So, listen, I, listen, whatever pronouns you want to use for Alistair, I, I literally, I don't care. But I, yeah, Alistair, care so as the soul... Know. Yeah, right, right. We're not going to go into identity <laughs> politics right now. <laughs> Because there's no point when this guy is, or girl has. <laughs> all right, right, right. Uh, uh, listen, this 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 thing has has transferred his soul to a demon that is a woman. But it's the, uh, Alice's soul. Listen, Alice's soul. Uh, yeah, Alice's. Now we're going to debate Anyways, whether soul can be gendered or not. Are, uh, like, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm clearly, I, I, I believe um, in the gendered soul, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Alistair hasn't uh, said like, oh, yeah, I, I now identify as a woman, even though he's in a woman's body. It's like Orochimaru, come on. Is Orochi, Orochimaru a woman or N Naraku who, who like possessed a woman? I, I, I don't know. You tell me. Digging the grave deeper. I have to dig the grave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So favorite female <gasps> is Shokoho. Uh, favorite male character. Um, I'd say Toma, but Hamazura just for laughs. Shut up, Malcolm. No Hamazura. What about you? I know your favorite uh, is Hamazura. And your yeah, so favorite my favorite female, female is obviously Othan is. I don't know who else it would be. And of course, the favorite male character, you know, is the Vector God Accelerator, without a doubt. Come on, not not surprising whatsoever. Sensible. <laughs> if you're like an edgy 13 year old. Uh, what's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> this kid, bro, I swear. <laughs> All right. Tyreek Griffith. Griffith! That's a berserk reference. <laughs> uh, question, what do you guys... What? <laughs> I'd never guessed. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying in case people didn't, haven't read Berserk or watched it and don't know what the hell I'm saying or doing. Fine. <laughs> question, what, what do you guys like more? GT or NT? Well, it has to be NT because GT hasn't finished yet. I feel like it's... Yeah, I think yeah, GT had a strong start than NT, but NT true. for now. Very true. I like the direction where GT is going right now because it has the potential to be really, really good. Like, especially with CRC right now, it can be, like, really good. But at the moment, yeah. it's not complete, like Aeon said. So, NT, definitely right now. Yeah. NT had higher highs than GT, but it also had much lower lows. True. Like, 
there hasn't really been like a really bad novel of GT except for GT three, but everything else has been like really good. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the next question, Aeon? Okay, we've got a person with the with a username that isn't really readable. It's like one two two one H one two two one. There we go. I said it. <laughs> That's what I mean by it's not not exactly readable uh, in the conventional sense. All right, random question: Can accelerator control time, like move the direction of the vector of time? No, because time is a scalar. Even heat is a scalar. And all that. But he can't. Maybe if he has to level six though. As of right now, there's been no feats showing that he can actually control time in the novel. So, blunt answer: No. Just no. That'll be the final Maybe. book when he's like, wait, I can control time and then just undoes everything. You know, everyone's <laughs> favorite kind of ending. The one where everything was just pointless. Or maybe if he, if he uh, flies and accelerates around the world really really quick, like Superman, the first time. Yeah. <laughs> was that a pun? Because he said accelerate? <laughs> was that a pun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that's what I'll do. And, like, reverse the yeah. Earth's, like direction and it just really kills everybody because my we here spinning Probably backwards is stupid uh all right piero colombo asks you guys generally think ihana is showing up in item first or gt novel we kind of touched upon this but i honestly think you no know, like ihana has to appear in the main main story because it's like one of the biggest mysteries of index so I feel like it has to happen in the main. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Misaki showed up first in Railgun. So it's not like uh, there isn't a standard for whenever uh, level five, or it, though there isn't like a uh, rule saying level fives have to show up in Index first. <clears throat> true, but it's one of the biggest mysteries of the series. If a counter argument, uh, items have been building sales. her up since volume one. <laughs> yeah, true, I mean, true. Item sales go up too. I mean, sales yeah. go up either way. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should. Item is just using Ihana as the serious shadowy villain that. Yeah. We'll have, have to wait and see. Important. Yeah, I'm about to say he, he's going to have a really important part uh, later on in the series. A really important part. Ain't no way. Maybe it's, right. maybe it's set up through you know GT9 power system of God, like negating that or stopping that or whatever. I don't know. Just a theory. Go on. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. A problem. Blue Boy Joey, when will we ever escape OT? I'm not sure what that means. The answer is yes, Aeon. Just yes. Oh, does it mean life of the manga? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, I think this is a question for you, often. Oh, great. From, <laughs> from a quip. Uh, Offenus, do you think the 11 dimensions are literal 8 dimensions above the 3D universe or are just 11 dimensions inside the 3D world that teleporters can via their personal reality to equate math? Do you think you're asking me this question just because I'm a power scaler? For real, bro? Probably. I, I honestly <laughs> wouldn't know where to start that question. <laughs> Uh, I'm right. uh, like, so in my, in, in my opinion, in the 3D world, which is a phase, in that 3D world, which is a phase, there resides 11 dimensions in that one phase. That's what I believe, but that doesn't really matter for the 11 dimensions because when there was like something with Cortana and being able to cut like every dimension and insinuating that every dimension implies infinite dimensions, of course, that's not fully stated, but that's what we're going to go off of. So technically, I'm going to say in the 3D world, there are 11 dimensions in that world. In the phase, I mean, which in the phases can be, you know, reproduced over and over by the gods. If that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, that's a very loose ended, you know, answer. <laughs> it's not really the right. I don't think there's even a right answer to that, to be honest. But that's what I think, though. Now, what about the teleporters Ooh. part? Well, the teleporters can uh, reflect. They use their no, not reflect. They teleport using the 11th dimension. 
which is why it doesn't work on accelerator so accelerator can reflect to the 11 dimension it's technically way more if you want to get to that power scaling stuff but it's just so confusing bro <laughs> this is so much isn't power scaling logic the fact that Kuroko can interact and use her power through the 11th dimension makes her an 11th dimensional being, which means she actually solos 98% of the verse. Actually, no way. Yeah. Yes, people will probably do that. Uh, yeah, probably people. I mean, people say the dumbest shit. Like, like for example, let me give you an example. <clears throat> Remember the one skin where uh, Scythem was fighting Garo and he kicked the portal on the ground? So, because he kicked that portal, I'm not even kidding you. People really think that Saitama is hyperversal in terms of scaling. Hyperversal. No. 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 The shot up. No, it doesn't. It doesn't make uh, sense. I side with them. You're, you're just saying that because you know I hate Saitama. <laughs> it's a little. But, but no, anyways, to answer the question, not take too long. I think for this question, there are 11 dimensions within one 3D verse. That it's just as simple, simple as it is. So are you saying Natsu solos the index first because he can punch time and space? And burn it, it? Apparently it was only space. It was only time. It was oh, one of those. Only time? Whatever. I think that's still... Weird. Also, no. Oh, and the true magic gods one tap. So, you know. Oh, yeah. And CRC, apparently. So, yeah. And Toma just one shots because he's awesomer. Right. And faster. <laughs> all right. And then you have Hamazura at the top who beats all of them. Who? Hamazura. Who? You know Hamazura. 12th dimensional uh, being, Hamazura. <laughs> this guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the next question, Aeon? Right, where are we? Boop, boop, boop. Flip Phone asks, do you guys think that an Index anime reboot will be better with a narrator? That's a great question. I do think uh, parts of it definitely would benefit from having the right to like hunter hunter since i feel like you do miss a lot of the important details when you don't have it but i get that it can depending on how it's, it's used bad practice because you're telling and not showing yeah 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 true true it depends how you, how you use it but yeah it's, it's a tough one to say because I wouldn't want it, like, all the time. But I, I get what Malcolm's trying to say, because it's kind of a lazy way. But some things you... Because it's a, it's a novel as well. Some things you just can't physically show. And Hunter Hunter uses it pretty well. But that's for, like, some of the fights and... then abilities and stuff like that. And Hunter what do you think, Offenus? I'm sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> Do you think an index reboot would benefit with having a narrator? Would be better with a narrator? Actually, yeah, I do, because Index is a very confusing story. I think like a brief summary of each episode, like five, ten seconds or whatever it is, or however long it is, you know, each would be very beneficial. Because the index anime, as you guys know was not made very well it's not that's not probably the right way to say it they rushed so many things and left out so many things that it leaves the audience confused so a narrator would actually be very beneficial in my opinion i think they could use it i think if they would just adapt it without rushing the arcs it wouldn't be necessary that's true but that didn't happen <laughs> so we yeah, got, we got really this just stain that it is but um if they were to reboot it then i guess no technically but if we could add it in now f from what we have then yeah absolutely um yeah cool cool all right yeah remember guys it's one question per person because i can see people asking multiple questions <laughs> so but just let you know uh imminent successful will alice ever come back in gt9 yeah we've been we've been chatting about this for the entire podcast really i think it's pretty likely it's not like kimachi yeah. to permanently kill off well i do i do actually want some permanent deaths in this volume if they do happen but yeah i think alistair should die 
<laughs> no, no, no. Cause get like, I don't know. Get like Aradia. No, maybe. I don't know. Aradia I don't want Aradia to die. <laughs> this is like the problem. I'm like, like oh. He's been my guest. It's yeah. We can kill off Hamazura. Good idea. No, don't. No, no, no. no. Uh, you can't kill Hamazura. You yes, you can. I'm like. No, he doesn't. I'm like struggling. Who should we kill off now? Cause I would have said. I would have said Shokuho, but. Honestly, no, like, character, but. like, the, um, how many of the Transcendents are still alive, actually? I don't even remember. Like, all of them. The only like one all of them? The killed was, uh, Alice. It was, uh, uh, no, what about the, um, ah, the dude with the top hat? Not the top hat. I can't yeah, remember they didn't name. kill him. His Majestus. He was, he was just, he was yeah, severely he was, wounded, like, right? reaching out to save Alice at the end, but. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, like, the other Transcendents might die in order to, like, bring her back because they're so loyal to her or whatever, because they fear her or whatever it was. I don't know, maybe. So, but no, GT9, Alice is definitely coming back. There ain't no way she ain't coming back. Not, they were the reason they were so loyal to Alice was purely because of her power. But if this right. guy is stronger than Alice, then it would probably switch loyalty. That is true. That's that a good reason. point. I do think with how like Kamachi's been speed running Aradia, uh, to like, oh hey guys, this character that was the boss of this book yeah now she's like a bunch of people's best girl yeah i sped run it and gave her extra attention that other females typically don't get in art books because uh she's gonna die no it's really it sad hurt. to say this but i could totally see her dying yeah especially because we got a radio too they well we'll have to wait and see won't we Yeah, I just hope it's not too forced how they bring Alice back. It's going to be very strange if they don't, considering we haven't seen the conclusion to her character arc, as Mal said. If Anna doesn't know his weakness, it could be that Anna knows a way to bring Alice back. And that's why he has to kill her. Because a normal, mm. mentally sound Alice may be able to put up a fight. That's, just a, that's the stretch I could think of. Right. I think everyone else just asked multiple questions, so we will end it here. Thank you all for watching, and also thank you for coming on to the podcast, guys. It's a pleasure as always. Are you guys there? Oh, I didn't know if you were going to say anything. I thought else. you were talking to the chat. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking to chat. Oh, right, 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 right. right. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of talked about chat then, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Both of you. Yeah. Hey, be yeah, sure, sure to subscribe to Aeon, you. guys. If you like the video, you'll see Miska pop up on your screen. Totally, bro. Yes, That's and if true. you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Orphanus. Links are in the description, or they should be. Or I'll add them very shortly if they are not, but it should be. And of course, Malcolm as well, but Malcolm doesn't do anything. One day. Yeah, what the heck, Malcolm? Upload a video Malcolm already. E Malcolm exists. I've been thinking about it. You said that last time we did a podcast forever ago. Yeah, I think about it a lot. I bet you do. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, we hope GT9 is a banger. Hopefully, it's one of the best volumes in the series. Only time will tell. Not too long to wait. So, looking forward to that. Yeah. See you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.